We're on our last day of measuring bags to make sure all of our logs are correct and it is sunny out. Yesterday it was cloudy so there wasn't all this mud so we had our wheeling measurement out and it won't even measure it because it's so muddy. Slinging mud everywhere. I hope Craig remembers that number. This is the last bag. There's a fence up around it because some of the neighbor's cows were in here, so they put a fence around the bag. But after this, we are all wrapped up with bag measurements. So that verifies our information from harvest and we're good to go. It's always, it's always best to check and double check. <laughs> so the next time we come up here, we'll be harvesting sunflowers. Evidence of muddy roading it is gone. The pickup is clean. The pickup is clean, and now I get to go pick up my pickup. It's been in the shop for three weeks getting a headlight fixed because I hit a deer. So, finally got that fixed, and I'm so excited to have my pickup back. pretty bad under here but it's on well it's a little too wet yet 13 percent gotta wait we tried sunflowers yesterday they were not ready to go uh, we weren't counting on doing it today but tristan just told us that we will be doing it today because they're ready to go so change of plans <laughs> I gotta go start my tractor and mm, all the goods. <laughs> is flattening out stalks and a spot for the bagger. The boys are adjusting their combines to sunflower settings and then we'll be good to roll. Hangers or how is it okay in the middle of the field? Uh, there's just spots where they're laid over and you give a drop it, but for the most part it's pretty good. Okay, so you're thinking we won't need lifters or anything? All right, Tristan is gonna dump and watch his sample as it comes out of that auger just to make sure everything is good to roll and that he likes his combine settings. Flowers are super light, so my cart is mm, probably a little over half full. 
I guess around half full. They said it'd probably only weigh like, I don't know, I guess we'll see how much it weighs. A little background on this field. It was planted on May 31st and June 1st. It took a few days to do it. But it is now November 13th, so that has been, I believe I just looked it up and I think it said 166 days ago. That doesn't sound right, hold on. Was. It was indeed 166 days ago. So, all of these sunflowers were planted almost six months ago, which is crazy. They just have a long growing season. Um, and the frost was late. And that's why we didn't, not the frost. It's just been such a weird year. combines really soon because sunflowers are super flammable and you can see the dust behind me just in the air um, so it's very static and dusty um, and combines and sunflowers just love to catch on fire so we're gonna blow off as soon as he gets back with that compressor and then hopefully we don't have any mishaps but every time I pass a combine or Ross passes a combine we just open the window and see if we can smell anything and that's about the most that we can do. Combines, flowers, pretty sunset. We're rolling about five miles an hour. Hopefully you can see how those headers work. Um, it just kind of guides the stalks. It's like corn, but it's a little more like the stalks are skinny enough and they bend around enough that you can cut it east north east west or north south regardless of which way you planted it like this was planted north south but we're cutting it east west because of the wind right now so that's how those headers work i'm gonna get a camera set up in there sometime tristan is somewhere in that cloud of dust uh doug is going to blow off right now joel headed over there a little bit ago and dennis is also blowing off so, it slows down, oh, there's another one way out there, never mind, that must be Dennis. The sun is going down, it's 4.15, and my guess is for tonight, Dennis is going to lose the light game. Because during wheat harvest, it was always Dennis. Hey, you're oh, there's Dennis. Ugh! So flowers are definitely a lot lighter, um, and I think around, I haven't been keeping exact track of how much is on one combine hopper, but oh, that's too high. I haven't been keeping track of exactly how much can fit in one combine hopper, but it's not a lot. Comparatively to wheat, it's a uh, un poquito. <laughs> And it's one of those nights that I wish you guys could see this in person. It just keeps getting more pink. I love sunsets in the winter because of how they are. Ugh. So nice. Well, I went to dump on the bagger. And I don't know who lost. Maybe I should ask on the radio. No, Tristan doesn't have his lights on. Oh. lost the light game.
the right side. to be a silly little goose and win the light game i went to turn on my lights and they don't turn on um everything says it's on on that screen but then need a card on the north side there's definitely something loose in that steering column i spoke oh my goodness that's that could be a pain in the butt and this is that brand new wide track tractor so i don't know what's going on that's really funky though. But so they're off right now. They turn on. And then in a second they're gonna turn off. Maybe they won't. Oh, there they go. Um, not having lights during sunflower harvest is definitely a problem, especially when the sun goes down at 5 p.m. before that. So I don't know what we're gonna do about this. This is gonna make unloading on the bagger a mess because that bagger does not have great lights. And if my we're lights- We're trying to finish this tonight. Oh my gosh. So I figured out if I keep my steering wheel in the up position, the lights don't turn off. So hopefully tomorrow the service guy will be out here to check that out from John Deere. Since this is a brand new tractor, again, hopefully it'll go on warranty. <sighs> but other than that, we've just been loading and going. It got dark and I went on live on TikTok, so that's why I didn't record a lot more today. But it is 9.22 because I forgot to change that clock. In the morning, we're going to fuel check fluids, blow combines off, all the goods, so. For now, that was a successful first day of sunflower harvest. Also, bonus info, the only reason we're really ending right now is because we're about to run out of bag. Um, the sunflowers weren't getting, also because we were about to run into the edge of the creek and we don't want to do that in the dark so that we can avoid getting stuck and ruining equipment or something like that, but. We're out of bag and we're gonna do a bag change in the morning. Oh, so there is the chicken wire. It's loose though. Really? Yeah. 